What's going on, Halloween fanatics? Let's cut right to the chase. Andy Matichak's character in this Blumhouse Halloween trilogy is basically useless, and the majority of the Halloween fans feel the need to award her the final girl, and it seems like she's embracing it every step of the way. And let me ask you all this. When and how long has Michael Myers made her the primary target? And that 20-second chase scene in Halloween 2018 doesn't count. I'll wait. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing. And in Halloween Kills, she stupidly went after Michael Myers. And Michael wasn't even chasing her or even bothered about her. And it eliminates her from being the final girl because Michael wasn't even concerned about her. And when you think of final girls, you think of Laurie Strode, Sidney Prescott, Nancy from the Elm Street movies. Those women went through real trauma because they were the problem and they were the target. Now, Allison, she did go through a little trauma. Her father got killed by Michael Myers. Um, her boyfriend got killed by Michael Myers. But at the same time, Michael Myers wasn't killing those people to get to Allison. As whereas in Halloween 1978, if you look back on it, Michael Myers was going after Lori Strode and he was eliminating all her friends and she was the last one that he was going to go after. Same thing with, you know, Sidney Prescott, you know, I mean, Ghostface goes after everyone just to get the Sidney Prescott. So we didn't get to see that between Michael and Allison. So people need to stop that notion that she is a final girl. Allison is not a final girl. So stop pushing it. And it just seems like everyone started this BS back in 2018 when Allison clenched onto that knife on the back of the truck. Talking about it was a passing of the torch moment. And that really sounds stupid. And what did she do with that knife in Halloween Kills? She gave it back to the real final girl. And she did nothing at all. So there's that. And to be truthful, Allison and Lindsay are basically the same person. I mean, they had an altercation with Michael Myers and they got away. That's it. I mean, the characters are unimportant. They're not a final girl. In that case, Lindsay Wallace would be considered a final girl. I don't hear people saying that Lindsay Wallace is a final girl. And you can argue that Lindsay Wallace had a bigger role than Allison. So there's that. This new story of Halloween is not revolved around Allison. It's all about Lori Strode. I just want people to understand that. And Halloween ends as Lori Strode and Jamie Lee Curtis final hoorah. I mean, they're going to send Lori Strode off good. And Allison is just clutter in this story. I mean, she has no purpose. And it's called Halloween Ends for a reason. Like, I mean, it's going to be a four-year time skip. And anything after Halloween Ends will make Michael Myers beyond supernatural. Because, let's face it, he didn't die in Halloween Kills. And look at all that punishment that he endured in Halloween Kills. Now... They got to do that and much more to kill Michael Myers and Halloween ends. So you mean to tell me that Michael Myers is going to survive Halloween ends. So that means you got to bring back Allison, which we don't want to see. And it's going to be another time jump. So Michael Myers is going to be basically like 100 years old and Allison is going to be going after him. I mean... It's, it, it's, it's beyond stupid at this point. It's almost like Blumhouse is forcing stuff on us that we don't want to see. Like, Allison, stop trying to make her the final girl and force it on us. It's almost like how WWE was trying to force Roman Reigns on us in the early beginnings. Like, y'all remember that? Like, fans was booing him and he was just a, a complete baby face. And fans was booing him because they know it was manufactured and they know it was pushed down our throat. And they know that, you know, he didn't really earn his way up to the main event status. He was just giving it to him on a silver platter. And that's how I feel like Allison is doing in this new Halloween trilogy. She hasn't earned anything and y'all are trying to give it to her. And I don't like it. And I'm going to say it again. You eliminate Allison from the story and from this Halloween trilogy and nothing changes at all. It's no debate. 
Anyway, how do you all feel about this? Do you agree with my points or do you feel differently? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you love any and everything horror movie related or Halloween related, make sure you check out my channel. I have a lot of Halloween discussions, a lot of Halloween rants, um, some rants that you won't hear from any other YouTubers. So definitely check that out, man. And um, if you like it, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe. Peace.